Hey guys, uh, today I'll be doing a video edi editing tutorial and it'll be on how to create a simple gun flare effect. If you look in the bottom right corner of my screen, uh, that's what the final effect is going to look like. It's a pretty simple and easy effect to do and you can do it all for free on Linux. Uh, first thing you're going to want to do is go ahead and download a gun flare image. Uh, or muzzle flash image, I'm sorry. And you want to go ahead, and go ahead and download a sound for your gun. I've gone ahead and already done both. If you want to get those, all you have to do is muzzle flash, Google that. You can go into Google Images, uh, find one you like. I'm using this one. Go ahead, full size image, save image as to our desktop save. Now we can go to gun sound. I'll take us uh, the first link is sound bible. Uh, wait a minute for it to load. Uh, the one I use is the Glock 17 9 millimeter. Oh, uh, I think it's this one actually. Yeah, it's this one. So you go ahead and click on the one you want. Uh, you can pick whatever you want. You don't need to click the Glock 17. I do. Download the MP3. Uh, download it to wherever you want to. Uh, say five. Ooh, ooh, uh. Uh, I use down them all because I find it fast. Go ahead to your desktop. Alright. Desktop. Here we go, and click start, it'll download your file, and there you go. Once you have all that, you need to go ahead and record the video of yourself shooting your fake gun. Uh, the example you saw at the beginning is the one I'll be making, so with the magic of video editing, I'll be using cheese, which I did in my last video. Take the gun you have, I'm just using uh, airsoft gun, it's obviously not a real gun. Uh, go ahead, record it with whatever, you can use a real camera. Go ahead and click start recording. Uh, you can, I'll just shoot in the air, go ahead and press the trigger. Uh, the gun flew forward so it doesn't happen in reality. Uh, this isn't going to be the most realistic thing you ever saw. But now that we have the video and the two other things, we're going to want to go into Kden, oops, Kden Live, which is the video editor you'll be using. Um, you want to wait a minute for this to load. It's going to look different if you're using GNOME because this is a KDE application, but that's alright. Uh, once it's all loaded up, you're going to want to go to Add Clip and just add your uh, clips. It'll be your webcam video, so if you go home, Desktop, find the sound, add clip, muzzle flash, add clip, a home, videos, webcam, and today is the second, so it'll be this one. We'll go ahead and add this clip to the timeline. I'll zoom in because it's not very long. If you zoom in, it's going to make it easier. Uh, I want to zoom in just a Alright, it looks like we don't have really have a choice. I'll go like this for now. You can play it in your project monitor. monitor. Uh, crush course on Kaden Live. This right here, this is your project. This corresponds with your project monitor. These up here are your clips. It corresponds with your clip monitor. If you wanted to, you could have just uh, recorded it right from Kaden Live. I didn't. I don't know why. Uh, you can go ahead, play the video back first. Uh, there you go, we see the video. What you're going to want to do now is drag uh, your video track down one, and you're going to want to uh, find on your timeline where you press the trigger. And you can use the arrow keys to go frame by frame. And right here is where I press it, so I'll leave the cursor there. Go ahead and drag the muzzle flash image you downloaded from earlier down. 
make it real small, you want to zoom in some more. Uh, once you have this, you're going to want to right click, you're going to want to go to add effect, or, hmm, it's either in effects or transitions, I'm pretty sure, uh, oh, it's in transitions, it's going to be screen, one of the screen, dogs just get rid of the black background, so all you have is a muzzle flash. They're going to want to, whoops, just shorten the transition so the same size as your video clip or picture in the timeline. Once you did that, you're going to want to right click the flash you downloaded from earlier, go into add effect. You're going to want to go into miscellaneous and then into rotate and shear. Here you can rotate your muzzle flash how you need it. So, oops, that's not how I. Uh, be careful that you only rotate the X and Y, not the Y. X. Just so rotate the X. So you can rotate how you need it. Drag it so it's on top of the gun. Now, if you see here, uh, the video is cropped. That's only because we're working with this clip right here, the picture. If we go back down and click on the video, it's back to normal. Uh, but once you have that, you can go ahead, scale it down to how you want it. So, you hold on a minute and just scale this. Oops, that's not how I wanted it. Diagonally, it can be a get, bit tricky at times. Uh, just drag this down. I want to get that a little bit closer to the muzzle. All right, there we go. Got the muzzle flash. Uh, of course, if you're really doing this, you're going to want to put more time into it. I'll try to rotate it more accordingly. And now, if you go here, yep, and just watch the video from here. Uh, if you see that, it goes for about just a little bit. Oh, you didn't see that. Uh, it can be, this program can be hard to work with sometimes. Uh, go ahead and click there. Walk up here. And you see that? Uh, that's a pretty decent length. As you see, it's not even, it's less than a second long. And that's about where you're going to want it. And once you have that all ready to go, go ahead and drag your uh, cursor to in front of your picture, drag the sound clip right under it. As you can see here, it has this long flat line in the audio. That is silent, so you can just crop that down to about here. And when you play it back, you can, uh, you, I'll play this final clip back. Uh, but you, if at the end of the video when you see this, uh, I'm going to notice. That it's not. That it's, this is hard to explain without. Uh, when I played that back just then, it, the sound was a little bit delayed. It was probably with something with the recording. Uh, what you can do to fix that is just crop it from both sides, like I did earlier. You can move it around. Do what you need to do so it's good for you. And just go back here. We'll watch it again. Uh, there we go. That was realistic for enough for me for a quick tutorial video. Uh, Here we go. I'll watch it. In fact, I'll probably make this shorter. Uh, make sure when you watch it back, you're uh, watching your video track. That was good enough. Uh, once you're done, you can go ahead and click render. Render it. Uh, H264 is what I do. 1200k2 pass render to file. Uh, you can save that to wherever, so home jacob desktop slash um, let's call this tutorial flash go ahead and click render to file. Uh, yep, you want to add that and as you can see here it's going to render since it's such a short clip for me it's going to render fairly quickly. For you it will take longer uh, that's fine, unless you're really impatient. 
and you probably shouldn't be working with video editing. But, uh, that's all. It's a pretty simple effect. You could do a lot more to make it more realistic. You could download the uh, gun flare, or the muzzle flash in a video. I don't recommend that because it leaves smoke a lot, and if you're doing a scene where you're quickly shooting, it's not going to leave the smoke every time for that long amount of time. So what I would do is just get the image. It's easier to work with. It's going to be faster. Uh, that's all for this video. I hope you like this. Uh, sorry if I went fast. I'm limited on time. I'm running out now. I only have like 30 seconds left. And I will see you next time. Uh, you can... I'll just shoot in the air. Go ahead and press the trigger. Uh, the gun